All right, we're gonna try and get this sled going. <coughs> it was badly flooding last time. Oh yeah, so you were completely flooded. Again, dripping out the exhaust pipe, there's so much fuel in it. I haven't given it any gas or any choke. So, Dave was nice enough to pick up a new needle in the seat, so we're going to assume that's the problem and take the carburetor off. And so, we'll take the carburetor off. That float level might be a little bit low. Well, no, because it's just level when it hits the spring. That's what we want. goes back on because it's got a little polished spot where the uh, where the float is. Now that spring's pretty weak. This is the new one. Apart. It's got a much stronger spring. They look the same. I think we'll get the compressor and blow out that hole and all the other holes and then uh, see if this threads in. Got it all blown out. everything. Alright, I got the fuel line going into a gas tank. <coughs> it's pulled it about 50 times. And it's 
still pissing out of the uh, exhaust. You can see it dripping up there. There's no fuel line hooked up to it. This has all been in the crankcase. Thank you. 